Alright, Tower of Peace. Uh, mid, hard, zone 1. And here we are. Um, Ty's got a nice gradient. <clears throat> Not a ton to say about it, but it's pretty neat. There's a little secret room down there, but I don't think there's any benefit to going in there. So once you get that button, you backtrack back here, jump on the uh, spinners, and you're back here. So you just jump up this yellow, go on this X-pusher, up this truss, and onto the walking simulator. Quite a fair bit of this tower is walking, um, which is kind of a shame. I mean, other than that, it's alright. It's pretty decent. Yep, a little room. Just walk across it. Up here, your head hit her up. Stupid. Okay. So you jump up these rope platforms and onto this fast X pusher. I would do that in shift lock because you can kind of get ye yo yeeted. Uh. This part's kind of cramped. Yep. Kale breaks on the floor. I don't know what happens if you go into them. Uh, my guess is that it's very little because you can't really fall. More walking. It's a... It's a wedge, so I guess if you jump up it, it's slightly faster, but... Who cares? Head hitter spam. You ready? One, two, three. Pretty long jump over there. Now these platforms are can't glide true. Uh, you gotta be very careful that you don't uh, fall off of these little 0 0.1. Just kidding. You can walk in the middle here. <clears throat> yeah, this tower's got a lot of. Oh. Damn! Here we are. Alright, push it. There we go. Yeah, take your time. No rush. Jump out. And you're outside. The spinner is kind of spooky scary, but it's fine. So, go on the edge, and just jump off. Yeah, you gotta wait till you're on the top. I'd say jump on this square when the corner is on the edge. Oh boy. Yep. Now, jump on the spinner, wait till you're back in, and there you go, on the truss. One truss, two truss, three truss, four truss. I don't know why anyone would want more truss. Jump on here, you can wait or just walk. See this? This is called... Okay gameplay. Alright, this part's kind of neat. It's like a nice little perspective thing. You gotta... Squeeze to the top. It's kind of annoying, though. It's easy, so I'm not complaining. See that? And you're already out. I mean, you could follow my path for that, but it's pretty simple. I mean, you're just gonna walk up it. Alright. This part's kind of funky. And now, once you're here, you can just walk underneath it. You can fit there. Very, just barely, but you can. And now you're on floor... Or something. Just kidding. You are now you are now on a floor of nothing. All your progress just lost right there. Alright. Now this truss is very slow, but if you hold space, you like just rocket chip. Just fly up up the truss. Oh yeah, then you jump up here. Oh, never mind, you have to go all the way down. And now get ready for the really off epic waiting simul I mean fun. Uh, fun conveyor ride. I'm having a blast. In case you can't tell, I am just on. I'm just overwhelmed with fun. Anyway, easy head hitters, except for this jump, which is a little bit hard. But meh. I think you'll just jump. You'll just fall down the there anyway. Okay. This part's kind of weird. Yeah, look. Uh. You dip up into that music box for just a second and you're back down to the bottom of the floor. 
Now time for just a painfully obnoxious. What would you even call this? A jumping sim? <laughs> Alright. Yeah, sorry man. Can't really commentate that much if I am just <laughs> walking. Okay, this part's kind of weird. This part's kind of jank. So if you're if you're like on the edge, you can like jump until you're in the middle, then you're good. Alright. We're nearing the end. I'd say this is like four, seven, or eight. Now it gets kinda hard here, so. Good luck. This tower took me multiple tries, and uh there's a lot of walking sims, but fun fact, if this tower did not exist. Oh yeah, what is this? Oh, it just restarts this nice. If this tower didn't exist, <clears throat> I probably wouldn't be here right now. Uh, not that I'd be dead, but like, my entire Jato career, like, without this tower, probably wouldn't exist. Um, and the main reason for that is because when I was having trouble on this tower, uh, this guy Metro Code, who made the thumbnail, and is going to continue doing that, so they just jump off, it's pretty lenient. Um, he helped me out with this tower, right? Uh, actually, he offered to help me out, but I thought he was going to try to steal my account for whatever reason. Um, because other people in the chat were doing that. Get ready for this conveyor belt. You won't take that much damage. You can just heal here if you want. Uh, and what Metrico did was he, like, he offered to help me, but I ended up declining because I thought he was going to, like, try to steal my account or whatever. Uh, don't ask why. I don't know. And then afterward, he contacted me on Discord, and then we became friends. And then another chain of events happened. Uh, he helped me out with more towers. We played towers together. Uh, then I offered we should build a tower. Which is called the Tower of Sailing High Seas. It's pretty much complete. We just haven't submitted it yet. Uh, also, this is the scary outside section. I'll continue the story when we get back inside. But this is just... When I first did this, bro. When I beat this tower. Um, before. Um, after Metro Code offered to help and stuff like that. This part, dude. This was just the bane of my existence. And it's still kind of hard. I would not consider this to be mid-hard difficulty. So you want to get to the very edge of each one. And you just want to, like, cheat it, like, the longest jump imaginable. <sighs> Oof. Yeah. <clears throat> Each jump is just pain in its own right. Jump. Yeah. I've beaten the Citadel of Scythe Recognition, and this stuff is still stressful for me. Alright, we've done, we've done all the hard ones, but there's one, like, just the hardest ball jump on this entire outside section. Um... And it's this one. There we go. Alright, nice. I probably wasn't going to fail that, but whatever. Back to the story. So pretty much, we made the Tower of Sailing High Seas. We, made, we built like the first five floors and it took months because we were just not that good. Um, and then Slenderfan192, aka Slender is, uh, he joined and he was helping us. Anyway, this part's dumb. Yeah, you can probably hold space if you go sideways for this part. This part you want to climb up. Go through over here. Like that. Jump over. Jump over. You gotta slide down here. Oh. Yeah, this part's really annoying. You can't fall, which is good. But it's just really dumb. And you squeeze. And then you head hit her up. And then you walk. Uh... This is a speed section, it's kind of tight. Oh yeah, this is tight. So wait until you got max speed, because sometimes the speed giver glitches out. If your server has lag, and I think mine's got a little bit of that, uh, the timer will last longer than 10 seconds, just because how this thing works. I will resume the story after this part. So, when I first did this, I actually failed, because what I tried to do is I tried to go across there all the way, and I just jumped through and I died at the very, very end of that path. Um, and the problem is, like, this is just so not well indicated. Like, look at this. A slightly hidden wall here. It gives you speed. Now, if you have T-Pose, you can literally just cheese this by holding. But for the second path, once you, if you have, since you have your speed, you've got to, like, hold space, and it's just really weak. Um, and now that you're up here, you get a nice walking sim with Megalovania. Uh, and anyway... So, because of Tower of Sailing High Seas, we made a group chat, and that, um, group chat 
is now we use it every single day all the time and yeah and it motivated me to play JFL more and that's kind of why I'm still here today so yeah this part's I don't understand it says like it's divided into like skill and patience or whatever I don't get the patience part like it's just it's, oh yeah this is probably the patience walking <sighs> walking walking Walking, walking, walking. Yeah, and if you're gonna get into making towers, don't do this. Like, build engaging gameplay where you're not gonna get bored doing it. Because no one thinks, oh my god, it's so hard to just walk in a straight line. By the by the way, if you're in this if you're in this area, this 410, you've already won. We basically can't fall below this floor. I think there might be like a certain part with the hole open in front, but that's super easy. Or a hole open on the bottom. Anyway, wedge spam, let's go boys. Cylinder spam, or <laughs> sphere spam, let's go boys. We had an entire outside section of sphere spam. I guess you could consider this just normal part spam. Oh yeah, the long maze. The maze of length. Nobody enjoys this. Look at this. I'm having so much fun walking and walking. How much fun I'm having. I mean, like, okay. Now you just jump up here. Jump onto this little section. Oh my god, I forgot about this. The maze of pain. Yep. Just... Just walk through. Uh, touch all the can collide false walls. It's that simple, really. I'm pretty sure you can squeeze into the sides. We're almost in. Yeah, I remember there was like a long stretch. Okay. I haven't played this tower in a while. And I think we're almost out. Where's the exit again? We're almost out. There we are, alright, and you got the trust climb to victory. And now you got the final... Final victory lap. You just X push all the way to the end. Wait. It doesn't reach. Okay, I guess I'll just go back then. No! <laughs>